What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today I want to talk about the new free to play Call of Duty mobile game because it has something that I freaking wish Black Ops 4 and all the future Call of Duty games would have which is a very, very, very rewarding loot system for the battle pass and I have some gameplay along with some images on screen for you guys showcasing the season 1 battle pass. And yeah, there's a lot of really good items such as EXP cards, which can give you an extra boost of XP for the weapon you unlocked it for, camos for your knife, weapons, and even grenades, calling cards, stickers, character skins, and also COD points. Unlike in Black Ops 4, the only way to get them is by spending your money. Well, by playing the game and leveling up in tiers on the battle pass, you can earn COD points literally just right there, which in return can be used to unlock items in the store. Now, of course, you're not going to be getting thousands of COD points, but still, at the very least, you can earn them by playing the game rather than spending your hard-earned money. So if there's an item you want, you can put in the time, you can put in the work to earn those COD points. You can also earn credits in the Battle Pass that can be used as another method to unlock items. And I'm sure there's going to be login bonuses like for Call of Duty World War II. So basically, every time you log onto the game, you can earn an extra 200 or more credits. You're also more than likely going to be able to earn these credits by playing the game too. And again, this mobile Call of Duty game allows you to grind and put in the work to earn the items you want. Unlike the console Call of Duty games that try to bloodsuck players for their cash with rewards that are just average at best with a very mediocre battle pass rewards. Oh, I needed to get that off my chest. Now, the developers for this mobile game are under Activision themselves. Like, this isn't just some random game that happens to share the name Call of Duty. Everything has to get approval by Activision too. And again, this game is absolutely 100% free to play. And because of that, the game already has 10 million pre-registrations on the Google Play Store alone. And this was confirmed by Activision during their investor call a few weeks ago. And in China, within 24 hours, there were 1 million pre-registrations. So this game is doing pretty damn well in terms of excitement, in terms of easy access, and yes, in terms of a better reward system. And this can be what Call of Duty potentially can be if it were to become free to play. If they were to just, you know, ask players to, you know, buy a battle pass, purchase items in the store. I'm sure they would see a, a bigger influx of players who would actually look into buying the battle pass and look into buying items in the store if the game was free to play and if it did not cost $60 already. Call of Duty still has the potential to be a very fun and rewarding game still, but Activision, please, I'm pleading with y'all, you gotta change up the system you have now. Like, this just is not gonna fly anymore. For the sake of the future of the franchise, Please, please, please consider the fans as the main priority and not just dollar signs. Um, I have seen reports that Black Ops 4 was meant to kind of be a quote-unquote testing ground for what they can get away with, to say the least. Um, but I don't know. It's just this year has not done Call of Duty any justice to bring it out of the dark, shadowy overcast of it being a money grab game now. But hopefully with Modern Warfare 4 or Call of Duty 2019, whatever it may be, we can see the reward system change for the better and the practices of the higher ups, of course. If the series were to become free to play, I guarantee that more players would be interested and come over to play. There's literally game modes for everyone. There's zombie survival, there's battle royale, competitive multiplayer. But then again, I guess that's just the fan of me saying that because maybe there are other reasons why Activision would not want to make Call of Duty free to play. Maybe they would lose out on a good chunk of cash. It's honestly just very frustrating to think about. But regardless though, changes have to be made. And I'm talking huge changes. Not just something minor, something big that's going to hook players in and keep them wanting to come on and play every single day. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.